Auntie, can you be my baby daddy? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Robins on my jeans. You see the wings on every pair. All you see is Remy boys. You know my niggas everywhere. Well, here I am. And for those of you who didn't know, it is actually my birthday tomorrow. And please, for the love of God, fuck. Um, the only thing I want for my birthday is to get verified on Twitter. That is literally the only thing I want. Like, you know, maybe, like, joining FaZe or getting, like, a hundred thousand dollars, red tents are dying, you know, that'd be cool. But getting that little blue pixelation next to my name. I'll actually put a click to tweet or something down in the description, because I don't know what to do to get it at this point, because I've tried literally everything. Aside from that, if you want to get me something, just hit me up on Twitter. Thank you. Oh, and sorry about swearing so much in my videos. I know that I do it a lot, you know? Just saying fuck is my favorite word, it really is. I've been getting a bunch of parents and tweeting at me, and okay, some of you do need to fuck off. That's just my opinion. But I know that I do it a lot, and you know, I was raised a very sheltered child, so saying these words growing up made me feel a lot better about myself. So for that, I do apologize, and I will tone it down a little bit because I do know that it gets kind of annoying. It's my bad. Just please don't be a little bitch, and every time I say a swear word, just call the authority. Okay, actually, right there, that's something that I feel is just so fake about you, like, you know, I feel like I have an intimate kind of personal relationship with you guys. I mean, like, I've seen some of you. You guys are some pretty hot guys. I'm gonna be honest. Like, you have these people that are just happy, go lucky, you know, they're just this completely different person in video. I mean, you talk to them in person and, you know, just a one on one conversation. Like, you can tell when someone's doing this just for money or just for fame or some shit like that. You can tell when someone half asses a video just to get it up, just to get the revenue off of that video. Like, me, any one of my friends will tell you in my videos, I am just that person all the time. Like, I'm a fucking retard. Sorry, I said the F word again, but I mean, you have to understand, like, I I'm stupid. Like, I do some dumb shit all the time. Okay, that social experiment bullshit. I'm sorry, but you guys have to realize 99% of those are all fake. Like, you can't just do some dumb shit and then just say, oh, that's just a prank, bro. Oh, it it it's a social experiment. Going to the UK and dressing up as ISIS members and then saying, oh, it it's a social experiment. Just a fucking prank, bro. I don't give a fuck who you are. These guys are terrorists. Terrorists was just attacked by ISIS and you're gonna sit there and pull some shit like that. Not anything that'll pull views because the more views you get, the more money you get, right? There's still that Sam Pepper prank. Dude shot his best friend. Do you genuinely think any of these guys care? No, you're putting money in their pockets. Like, I hear all the time, like, why did Eminem get popular? Why did Marilyn Manson get popular? Because they cause controversy. Controversy is gonna bring them attention. This shit is a business, and controversy is good business. Any publicity you get is good publicity. The more they run your name down, the more your price goes up. Is it bullshit? Yes. Like, regardless of what you do, these people are still going to get money until you stop giving them attention. And this is just from my own personal opinion. You know, whenever Roman Atwood or FouseyTube fakes a prank, you know, I'm not saying they do, but I- Okay, Fousey got caught, but Roman Atwood hasn't. I mean, shit, it was still entertaining to watch. I just got a quad. Like, there's a difference between what Roman Atwood does and what all of these other guys do. The fucking pretending to be an ISIS prank? Like, would you rather have someone pretend to be a terrorist? Or have someone, you know, like, pretend to flash your kids and he has a, he has a t-shirt on that says, you know, don't do drugs or do good in school or some shit like that. I mean, Roman Atwood's a great guy. You know, he's changed lives because he's so positive. You know, he's, he's a good guy. I mean, if it was still entertaining, you know, I'm, I'm gonna like it. But am I gonna like the gunning down a synagogue prank? Or maybe a starting a fire in the school for the blind prank? Or the fan favorite pregnant woman street boxing prank? I mean, it's obvious what these people are doing. They want your money and you're giving it to them. I mean, YouTube is either really good or really bad. It honestly just depends which side you're on. You know, I'm part of the Call of Duty, you know, little gaming commentator side. You know, you have these vloggers, prankers, and then you get to the child molesters, which is the Minecraft community. Which, I mean, you guys are probably sick of having these videos shoved down your throat. You know, all the Minecraft guys are pedophiles, but it's disgusting. You know, and I know there's a lot of parents that watch my videos now because I get tweets all the time from these 30, 40 year old people saying, hey, you know, me and my kids both watch your videos and that's awesome. I mean, I appreciate that you guys can watch me in your living room, so that, that's odd. People are always like, oh, you and Jeb, you know, we watch them with our family. Which I don't think Jeb watches my videos, but I am a very avid Jeb fan. I fucking love Jeb. But I mean, when 30 and 40 year old people are watching my videos with their kids, and these kids are out watching, you know, people like Lion Maker, Sam Pepper, Curtis Lepore, that little Rodriguez skater dork that got arrested for fucking a 12 year old. That, that is disgusting. Okay, I get angry and then I swear, but I think this is an, uh, you know, a very good time to swear. And then you get these little kid fans that are trying to justify what they, oh, you know, they, they they didn't know what they're doing. They idolize these people. This Lion Maker guy tweets out this 15 year old girl's nudes. Then the next day, this girl's playing with him, acting like nothing went wrong. They used Keemstar. They used me. They used everyone for attention and views. Which is back to what I said. Any publicity is good publicity. And you keep giving in to this shit. Like, if I found out someone was ever doing something like this to my child, I'd be in jail. I'll tell you that right now. I would have a felony on my hands because I would brutally murder someone. I mean, a defenseless child. YouTube and the authorities need to look into these guys. YouTube, this one's to you. You guys need to get a fucking grip. 
Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and if you're new. Subscribe. Yeah, this is my last video as a minor, so if you want to drop a like and uh, click to tweet at whoever's in that tweet. And I will see you tomorrow as an adult. It's kind of odd. I really hope I go to jail again and this time they hold me in there for the maximum sentence because I'm an adult now. Actually, you know, if I'm going to do something stupid, I might as well do it today because as of today, I'm still a- yeah,